Hey guys, I'm making this video for help on the forums here. Um, we have an early model Cutlass here. I forget whether it's 71, 72, something like that. And uh, the four wheel disc brakes. Um, we bought the car pretty much like this. And uh, it never worked since getting it. And I'm trying to figure out what to do to get this working here. Um, got the four wheel disc. Uh, this is the second booster we got on here. Um, we got this style master cylinder, and we got the other style master cylinder, it's a more square top. Tried both. Um, got the, I believe the correct rod inside the, the brake booster. The portion valve is hooked up. Um, we got line lock on it. Um, I mean, we put all this stuff in here. And, um, the pedal is rock hard. I'm talking... Zero, I would say just about zero brakes. I mean, you really got to stand on it. I'm, I mean, stand, stand on it, and it'll, it'll stop, barely. Um, we have. Uh, let's go. Let me get my flashlight. All right, how do you get my flashlight? Uh, let's take a look over here. I got both sides apart. Fluids going all the way down. Um, we have these. SSBC uh, front uh, dual piston uh, calipers. Pistons go in and out, no problem. Like I said, all new brake lines in here. Um, the hoses right here, I can blow through them and suck through them. So these aren't clogged. I don't think they're collapsing. Um, I stuck, a, I had this all connected, put one brake on this side, stuck a socket in here, Press the brake pedal on both sides. On both sides, I did this, and the uh, brakes came out, held, and everything it was right up against the socket. They didn't retract too good, though. I had to use a screwdriver to push them back, so I could get the uh, socket on out of here. I didn't want the pistons to fly out, so I had a brake pad in here, brake pad going across, and a big old uh, meaty socket sitting right here, so the brake pad would hit against it. So I believe all that's working pretty good. Um, we have plenty of vacuum. I mean, this is, we put this motor in. It's a healthy, uh, small block Chevy. It's got like 12 and a half one compression. I even tried hooking up a, uh, vacuum canister right here. And we had between five and 15, uh, negative of vacuum. So I, I believe that's plenty right there. Then we go back over here. Take a look inside here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show it. I have the brake pedal set on the lower hole right here. I believe the upper hole that's above this one is for the, um, what do you call it? If you got running manual versus power brakes. Um, the rod, as far as I'm concerned, is adjusted as good as it could be. I mean, I don't see any other issue there. But I'm looking for any ideas, you know? Um, these are the back brakes right here and just regular old brakes came in a, in a kit. We bought I, these, I put on, um, so this and on the other side too. And it's just driving me nuts right now. You know, it is on a four nine inch rear we got in here. Um, so that's um e-brakes aren't hooked up so that's just sit, sitting there there goes this side right over here i have it all taken apart fluids draining out new line right there the other caliber right there so what i'm looking for is what am i missing what am i not seeing here that isn't working what we did what i did wrong when i compressed the calibers back in when all the lines were all up the fluid came all the way back up you hit the pedal the pistons come out down there the back i put it in gear when it's up on the jack stands like this and when you put it in gear and then you go to um hit the brake it stops it the rear brakes um no way to test the front because it's jacked up uh, but the pedal's just rock hard. It's just, no matter what I do, it's rock hard. And this is the second 
brake booster because we thought the first one was bad. Um, we have the other style master cylinder. And then we have this style master cylinder. And this one, we put the pin on the inside of the master cylinder so that I didn't have to change the rod in the brake booster. Um, this is where we got everything hooked up. Let's see, change this flashlight. There we go. I mean, I'm not seeing anything here. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Or so I think it is anyways. So anyways, anyone has any ideas what to do with this or something to think about? Uh, I really would appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.